When you start developing your own workflow to edit photos in Lightroom Classic, you will sometimes find that for particular photos, you need to dive into the Detail tab. The Detail tab allows us to sharpen our photos, to create more clarity, and to also denoise our photos to remove any unpleasant, grainy looking parts of the image. Apart from that, we can also use other plugins which allow us to go even deeper into sharpening and denoise and create that perfectly looking professional photo. Let's take a look at how we can do this. So I've already imported a few photos for the sake of this tutorial and let's go right ahead and open the first image to take a look at how you can use sharpening and denoise to your advantage. So let's go to the detail tab right here and this section, this box right here, will show you a part of the image. This will be at 100% crop. So in order to change the part of the image you would like to see when adjusting the sliders, you can click this top icon right here and hover onto a part of the image. So the amount slider um, enables you to decide how much sharpening you're going to introduce to your photo. This will go hand in hand with all the other sliders uh, below it. So let's go ahead and increase the amount to around 40%. And now we can start playing around with the next sliders. So radius, as you can see, goes from 0.5 to 3 in value. Now, this only means that when you're using radius, you're defining how many pixels around the edges will be sharpened. If I go to a value of 0.5, only 0.5 of a pixel around my edge will be sharpened. If I increase this to 3, 3 pixels all around the edge will be sharpened. I like to keep this around 0.5 or 1 because it creates that perfect balance of sharpening without being too heavy on the image. So the detail slider then defines which edges will be sharpened. So at its lowest value, it will only sharpen the largest edges in your photo. However, as we increase the value, more edges will be added to your photo. As you can see right here, if we press Alt or Command on our Mac, uh, on our keyboards, we can move the slider around to show which details will be sharpened in our photo. You then have the masking option which enables you to refine the selected area when sharpening. The masking option is a very very underrated slider and to me it is the single most important slider in this area. So if you use the Alt key on your PC or Command on your Mac um, in conjunction with this slider, you can see that immediately the photo turns into this black and white um, view. And as you move the slider around, a mask is applied only to the largest edges. So if you increase this to its maximum value, you can see that only the largest edges will be showing here. This means that our masking, our sharpening, will only be applied to those edges. And masking goes hand in hand with each of the other options in sharpening. And we typically use this, this option to make sure that we're not over sharpening and introducing any extra noise to our backgrounds and our um, parts of the photo which do not need sharpening. In order to highlight the importance and the use of sharpening in a photo, I'm going to switch to another photo to show how it works with photos that have that depth of field. So right here, if we zoom onto the bird, we can see that there's a slight noise in the background. Now, if we disable sharpening, that noise will decrease because obviously the more sharpening we add, the more noise we will be adding to our photo. 
So let's go ahead and leave this to a value of 40. And as you can see, we've increased um, our noise by a bit right here, but we can now see that if we use the mask option, we can move our slider in order to remove sharpening from that background. If we move the amount slider around, we can see that the bird's eyes in particular will become sharper as we increase our slider and will become less sharp as we lower our slider. In contrast, our background is not affected because we are using the mask. And you can see the difference that the masking value does to our photo. If you really need to keep your masking at a minimum, let's say to a zero value, and increase your sharpness, which would in turn um, increase noise in other areas of your image, which you probably wouldn't like noise to, to uh, be shown, um, you can even use the noise reduction part. So noise reduction uh, relates to two different parts, that is luminance and color. So if we play around with the luminance slider, you can immediately see that noise is removed from the background, while if we go to zero, we can see that noise is reintroduced. Now, the detail slider relates to how much detail you will retain in your uh, noise reduction process, and that is by keeping some edges uh, more sharpened than others. And the contrast slider makes sure to increase contrast on your edges as well. The color slider, on the other hand, takes care of noise which has color in it. If I zoom in further to my image and move to a part where the background only shows, you can see that there are sort of orange or slightly red tinted uh, pixels in, in our background. Now, if we move our color slider further, we can see that those, those red tints are removed from our photo. Let's see the difference between a value of zero and a value of 100 similar to the previous section in noise reduction. We also have a detail slider, which defines how much detail we will retain in our, in our color parts. And we also have a smoothness slider, which defines the smoothness of the pixels that we will be removing uh, when we use the color slider. Although Lightroom Classic is able to uh, sharpen and denoise our photos in a very, very good way, there are also other options to use when we're dealing with sharpness and, and noise reduction. So there's another plugin for Topaz Photo AI, which allows us to open our, our photo in Topaz Photo AI. And we can see that Topaz Photo AI takes sharpening and noise reduction to a completely different level. So let's take a look at how it removes noise in the first place. So if we go to a higher crop right here, we can see how much noise uh, Topaz Photo AI can remove. Let's also take a look at how uh, Topaz Photo AI handles sharpening in a photo. And if we enable the slider, we can see that it immediately starts sharpening your photo to make it look more crisp and introduce more detail. You can see that there's a very noticeable difference between the backgrounds in the left photo versus the right photo, which we have adjusted, which looks much smoother. There's a separation in that depth of field. If we zoom into our bird, we can see that the bird is highly separated from the background and we have retained a lot of detail in the bird itself. And this in the end creates a very refined look for our photo and makes the images look very professional. I hope you find these tips and tricks useful when you start developing your own workflow to edit photos in Lightroom Classic. And please make sure to like and subscribe for similar content. Thank you for watching.